G'day, how's it going? Adrian, Evie Quest, and today I'm at BYD and Tauranga checking out this, the BYD Sea Lion 6 plug-in hybrid. So this is new for BYD, it's a hybrid. It's been all v EV since now. I like the look, reminds me of a slightly raised seal. I've just been in the seal, having a drive of that. Comes in two versions, a dynamic, from 57,990, premium 64,990. A 1.5 litre four cylinder petrol engine, five colours to choose from, a white, harbour grey, a black, a blue, stone grey. Interior, black and brown for both versions. Blue and grey is a premium option. Overall vehicle length, 4.775 metres. LED headlights, LED day time running light camera at the front you've got a grill that needs to be used more than the EV so that's the normal nine inch tires dynamic is front wheel drive premium is all-wheel drive open up this see what happens can't open that there's your rear view boot Boot is 425 litres. So this is the right hand side. You've got your, I'm going to say traditional EV charging options. Does have a rear wiper, which is good. A little bit of a sort of spoiler here. The interior is very much reminiscent of the Addo 3 in design. That's an Addo 3 there. Right, so I'm just going to adjust my seat. Going to go up and down. I'm comfortable. Not allowed to drive it yet. It hasn't got the big tech for driving. Um, but it does have, I think, just coming out of the seal, it also has that same level of just seat comfort. I can adjust my steering wheel backwards and forwards. Up and down. Oh yeah, up and down, quite a bit, it's quite a bit there. So the instrument panel, 12.3 inch instrument panel. I find that quite easy to read. Power, economy, charge. This here I've got 75% charge, a range of 1095 kilometers. Energy economy on the official form, it says here 1.2 liters per 100 kilometers. Energy economy star rating, 5.5. Drive train, front wheel drive for the dynamic all-wheel drive for the premium fuel tank volume 60 liters it says here the combined range of 1092 for the dynamic 961 for the premium acceleration 0 to 100 8.5 seconds for the dynamic 5.9 for the premium it's got the blade battery so we're still on the blade battery technology battery capacity 18.3 kilowatt hours Towing capacity, 750 kgs. Driving modes, eco normal sport. There's also a terrain mode of snow for the dynamic or mud, sand or snow for the premium. Headroom is extensive headroom in the front here. There's your key. Key. Two drink holders. Uh, under storage there. Bit of storage. That's reasonably soft soft there stitching i like little glove box little glove box some vents over here for the passenger has it got a good thud pretty good thud that's not most premium but that's that'll do vents there vents here vents here dual wireless charging this button functionality actually i quite like this it's quite easy to follow i'm probably going to say that's actually easier to follow than the seal you've got your modes here Start, stop, heater controls, um, some emergency stuff, EV, HEV, volume control. You've got the classic 15.6 inch BYD screen here. Um, very functional, heated seats. That's um, got that party trick still. ADAS, your driving assistance. So if you've been in a BYD before, that's all pretty similar. Ambient lighting choices. Well, you can see them. Are they changing? 
the ambient. Oh, yep, that's green, so quite like it. Bit of yellow. And you've also got space under here. USB-C, USB old. Microphone there. And a microphone there. Speakers, that's nice and soft. Good room for the passenger. Front seat passenger, I think. Good room there. So at the moment, I'm quite happy with what I'm seeing. There's a bit of storage there for your drink bottle. If you've been in the BYD, I'd say it's familiar. It does feel good. Um, oh, I'm trying to open the... And I'm just going to... Where do I open for the petrol? Because I need petrol, so... Oh, here we go. Here's a petrol button, so this is new for me. I pressed the petrol button. Fuel cap unlocked. And let's race around and see what happens with that. EV side. So I've raced around. Oh, there you go. Now it's unlocked and I can open it. And I guess you put petrol in there, which is something new for my BYD videos. Petrol goes in there. 95 or above unleaded. Fully fuel, <laughs> fuel only. Fuel only. What else would you put in there? So that's fuel going in there. So you can lock that. So before I couldn't get it to open because it was locked, but now I can. Um, charging, AC charging, seven kilowatt hours, DC charging, 18 kilowatts. It does have vehicle to load as well. There's a whole heap of safety functions, which I might just list them in the comments. I'll just list them below. Back seat, the roof is very spacious for my 6.2. No problems there. Uh, leg room. Leg room, very good. And there's a bit more space, say, compared to the seal to put your toes under the seat in front, in front of the driver's seat. So that's good. Um, I do think the headrest up those for support for me. Um, seat is... I'm probably leaned back a little bit. Seat is leaning back a little bit more than I'd probably, I'd probably like to be there. I'm here, um, but good headroom. It's not too bad. Vents, <sighs> old USB, new USB, and ventilation. Seat stop there. And plenty of tether points on the seats. Seating for three in the back. You get three in the back here, okay? Um, there's also speakers here. Little light. Handhold. There's a sunroof under there. And even though it's and the hybrid, it's actually flat along the bottom here. So leg room was a big tick for back seat passengers. Nice stitching all the way through. What's your thoughts on the hybrid from BYD, the C Line 6? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching this video. There's another video here to check out. And a like and subscribe would be awesome.